Hello Cancer, what's going on? Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're gonna do a general reading for November, but you know, it's timeless. Um, all of my readings are timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Oh. <laughs> ah. uh, you're very welcome here at Cancer. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot as well. So let me just give these bad boys here a little shuffle. going on for the lovely cancer. Ooh, that came out fast. Mother Mary, miraculous encounter. Uh, divine experiences, do not be afraid of being powerful. Mm. So, very clear message there to start off. Like you're supposed to step into your power. Uh, don't be afraid of doing that because you're, you're meant to. Ooh, <laughs> El Moria. Spiritual force field, protective light is surrounding you. You are safe. So it is safe for you to step into your power. You're being protected. Um, Mahavatar Babaji, spiritual awakening, interconnectedness, understanding the inner workings. Okay, I was only gonna get three of these, but I'm gonna get more. Another two. What else for cancer? Your cards are very decisively coming out. The Lemurians, uh, clairvoyance activated, psychic awareness, sensitivity, trust your intuition. So there's definitely a message here as well about part of your power is because you are very intuitive cancer, which makes sense because water signs are usually very intuitive, you know. Um, you might also notice that you're getting more psychic. And you have Michael and Faith has wanted to come out here. Spiritual calling, divine protection. That's twice that they've told you you protected. A breakthrough moment. Mm -hmm. So, there. Um, I don't know what what your spiritual calling is but it looks like you're about to step into it or you're about to have some breakthrough moment to do with it you have the hermit <laughs> the nine of swords they're being very decisive your cards so i would say you know because sometimes the cards kind of you know fanny around and they don't really come out um I would say it's kind of your time to start taking more decisive action or you're gonna notice that you start to take more decisive action. So you have the four of wands, the three of cups. There's definitely a message here about putting yourself out there in terms of, you know, people. That could be dating, it could be groups of people, it could be working with people, it could be making new friends, but don't be afraid of the people. Don't be afraid of the humans. You definitely have some kind of celebration coming in too when you have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. Seven of Pentacles wanting to come out. So something that's taken a long time is now ready to blossom. Ten of Wands. So, you know, the Ten of Wands is like a heavy energy that is now ready to be released, you know? It might have been in your life for a while, is the thing, this kind of heavier energy, the tower, with the hermit. The six of wands with the nine of swords. That's too many, I'm not taking all of those. What else for cancer? 
<laughs> That's funny that they all want to come out at the same time. Okay, so let's see what I'm looking at here. You have the Temperance card, the Page of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. There's something, okay, there's there's balance that's come in here. Uh, the Four of Wands talks about balance, you know, something being very stable. And you have the Temperance card here, which talks about transmuting like negative energy, you know, bad experiences that you've had to transmute. Um, the Two of Pentacles talks about balancing something. Things may have been like very choppy in the past. There may have been a very choppy energy in your life. The Page of Swords, uh, you know, this is like a delay. There's been a delay in your life while you've been balancing this energy. And you have the Ten of Swords here with the Ace of Swords. So this part of your life is done, whatever it was. This, this part of like you know, the toxic energy or the healing period or something like that that you had to do is done. You're you're leaving that behind so you can have some kind of breakthrough. Tell me about this four of wands and just give me one card. Tell me about the four of wands. That's cute. Okay. Um, so look what's come out together, right? You have the five of cups with the two of cups, which is really cute because here, obviously it shows like the three of cups that have fallen down and, but the person is not seeing the two of cups behind them. And then you have the two of cups behind them, right? So something happened in the past that didn't work out, you know, but you weren't meant to be in that situation or it's, it's a person I would say because you have the two cups here. So it's some kind of soulmate that's coming in for you. Like whatever it was that didn't work out in the past, past, <laughs> um, it wasn't meant for you. Like it wasn't meant to work out because you were meant to be with this person all along, this two of cups here. So this is actually talking about being powerful in terms of your relationships with people in general is what I would say. But you're still, you know, um, maybe you're thinking like you don't want to become an asshole or something like that, but you never would because you're always going to be in this like Mother Mary energy, which is like a very gentle, sweet kind of energy. Um, but yeah, you definitely have, I would say friends and like a new person that wants to come into your life because there's, it's like stabilizing after this stuff that you dealt with in the past. Oh, also, you are very psychic, okay? Or you're very like sensitive and you're very intuitive, but see with the Nine of Swords, there's a few things with that. You know, very sensitive people tend to overthink. They, they tend to be, you know, they're more sensitive to energy. You always find that. Like um, Nina Simone, for example, you know, really amazing person, wrote amazing music, excellent, you know, musician, but she did suffer, you know, from like depression or bipolar or something like that in real life, right? Because people who are sensitive tend to be like emotional because they feel things more deeply. Amy Winehouse, you know, the reason that she did all the drugs was, you know, because she was a sensitive person. Uh, she ended up getting emphysema actually, which is something I didn't know. I only read it the other day. I heard it in a documentary the other day, like when she was in her 20s, she got emphysema. That's usually something you get when you're older, but you know, diseases are usually related to like emotional things. So emphysema is like a, if it's in the heart chakra space, it's usually to do with like grief or betrayal, something like this. So um, yeah, you're just, you know, you might be prone to being more sensitive because you are psychic. You feel things more deeply. Um, but I feel that you're overcoming this, like this worrying energy or like it, you're overcoming, like overthinking or worrying about things, or you're, you're figuring out how to kind of deal with being, being so sensitive because, you know, really sensitive people have to take care of their energy because they just feel things more than other people. It's just, uh, 
It sucks, but it's true. And also, when you're doing that, you're also going to notice that you become more psychic. You know, it's like a, a double whammy, a twofer. It's a twofer. <laughs> you may also... Okay, so you have a spiritual calling and you have the hermit, so you may resonate with being in hermit mode. You have been in hermit mode for a while, being on your spiritual path, learning your spiritual stuff. Um, spirit may have taken you away from people for a while. That's about to come to an end, like your hermit phase is about to come to an end. And again, you have another person here with the Michael and Faith card. So this, it's about to kind of go out with a bang. You know, and also, you know, when I sat down to do your reading, there's actually a lot of weird noises going on in my house because I've got, I've got the heating on and then the fridge started making noises and there was right random banging. So you might have been alone for a while and then with the tower, like all of a sudden there's a lot going on and you're like meeting new people or hanging out with your new beau or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I'm also hearing like children outside, you know, shouting because they just come out of school. Um, so yeah, like lots of activity, which might be a lot for you <laughs> because you've been on your own for a while. Um, okay. Ten of Swords. So it's taken you a while. There's been like some kind of waiting period with the Seven of Pentacles where things had to germinate, things had to grow. Um, also, it could have been that something ended, you know, uh, like there was a betrayal or there was a tricky ending or something like that that it took you a little while to get over. That's so interesting. You have the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. So part of the reason that um, you're struggling at the moment. I don't know, maybe there's been... The Ten of Wands indicates having a lot of responsibilities or having to work a lot or having a lot of chores. But the Ten of Pentacles indicates there's a lot of money coming in for you. So there's a lot of abundance that's coming in for you somehow that is really going to help take the weight off your shoulders. You know, maybe you're having to work too many hours or, you know, the job, you're in a shit job or something and they keep piling the work on. So this Ten of Pentacles could indicate like a new thing that's coming in or a pay rise or something. It comes in quite fast. See, it's been slow and now it's moving fast is what they're wanting to tell you. It's almost going to be not too much for you to handle, <laughs> but um, I think after such a period of, you know, because you've had to wait, <laughs> it might be like, overwhelming that shit is actually happening now. You're like, oh my God, what do I do? I miss the time when nothing was happening. <laughs> Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you have imprisonment. So this is going to free you. There's money or a contract coming in or a bunch of clients or a new job or something because you've been like imprisoned by poverty. Thief. Excuse you, you're in my way. <laughs> Excuse much, rude or anything. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, at the, with that Ten of Wands and the Thief, there's something in your life or someone that's taking a lot of your energy. It could be your job. You know, it could be like one of those jobs where they just keep piling on the fucking work and it never stops, you know, and you're not getting paid any extra or like, you know, you're short staffed and you end up working three people's jobs or something and you're just like, what, what, what? So I'll be expecting three paychecks then, shall I? Oh, it doesn't work that way. Funny. Funny how it doesn't work that way. Um, there's, or it could be, yeah, just like a, you know, a job where, um, 
it's just a thankless job or you're not receiving the money you should be receiving or something like that. That's what's coming to an end. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles then. What is this? There's definitely heavy endings here because you have three tens, but it's leading to something great with the Ten of Pentacles. And they just want you to know that you're safe, okay? Wealthy man. Huh. Okay. False person. Message of concern. Hmm. I want my other deck. Can I be bothered to get up to get it? Yes. <laughs> Am I gonna overcome my laziness to get off my fat ass? Right, hold on. Okay, Cancer, so I went to get this other deck out and somehow I've managed to put this one in with the other deck. So you have courtship. So there could be some kind of partnership coming in here for you with someone that's gonna help to take the load off as it were. Um, and also you have on this Babaji card, uh, it says interconnectedness. So this could be like a, you're connecting with someone new that's going to help you out. Forgiveness. Have you been forgiving things, Cancer? Have you been going through something? Okay. Only take this if it resonates, right? You have that Ten of Wands and you have Forgiveness. You have the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. So there could have been a period where you were like releasing a lot of stuff. Like the Ten of Wands can also indicate um, heavy emotional stuff that you're carrying that is going because it's kind of keeping you imprisoned. So that could be something you've been working through too. Tell me about this wealthy man. Welcome the new. So there's someone new that wants to come in. Could be an earth sign, but this person has uh, money of some kind. Okay, so what is this wealthy man? I don't know why they're always like, oh, I don't know what the <laughs> Realizations and epiphanies. It really wasn't worth getting off the floor. Um, you have false person and realizations and epiphanies here. Um, let's reshuffle that. Tell me about this. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty clear. Volunteer. Tell me about this wealthy man. Okay, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. What is this? A new career. So you're gonna be doing something new that makes you a lot of money. You also have the Ten of Swords, so you may have to leave something else behind to do this. You have volunteer here. So this person could uh, like work for a charity, you know, or do something that's kind of good for humanity in some way, something like that. Why is this false person here moving? Realizations and epiphanies. This is what wants to come out for this false person. Ow, fucker. <laughs> Sorry. Um, some of you guys are gonna move for this career, okay? Don't freak out. Because I know for some of you, you'd be like, oh my God, but the kids are in school. It's not gonna be for all of you, but you will be like moving. So you're either gonna be moving, you know, the job where you're at, or you're gonna be moving to do this new job. There's something that you're realizing about yourself here with this false person, realizations and epiphanies. Tell me about this message of concern. New exercise program. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Tell me about this message of concern. Body changes. You know what? There's something that's gonna, ha this is a really bizarre message, but there's something that's gonna happen here. Um, message of, con it's not a message of concern, but it will be a surprising message that you receive. Once you get this message, because you have body changes and new exercise program, it means that you're either gonna have to start exercising or like looking after your body or looking after your appearance or something, or you're gonna start doing that and then this message comes in. I know that is hella random, but that's the message and you have self-care. So there's something, you're not taking proper care of yourself because you have this false person here. You're not taking proper care of yourself. So either this change, this message comes in after you start taking care of yourself and looking after your body or it comes in before and that's um, the impetus for it and you have healthcare change. So see, it could be that you get this offer and it means that you can start doing all this stuff like uh, looking after your health, self-care, you know, taking out, you know, uh, like exercising, looking after your body, things like this. <clears throat> well, isn't that random? Okay. That card that just came out says hobbies, so you're also going to have more time for hobbies. Okay. Um, well, mm, isn't that just a big bucket of random? Let's see. This message of concern or tell me about this message that's coming in. <laughs> Alright, so you have the, the nine of wands and you have the ace of cups. So this is some someone new. This is this person. You're gonna meet someone new here. This uh, two of cups. This is this is like a, your new person coming in with this ace of cups. Um, this is this wealthy man here, which can also, of course, be like a wealthy woman. Um, but you're suspicious. <laughs> you're hella suspicious with that nine of wands energy because you've been through a lot of shit, right? Um, so there might be like a little bit of a delay. Queen of Pentacles energy. Also, you're very independent. You know, this is particularly for the women watching. Queen of Pentacles energy, you're very independent. You know, could be a working mother. Um, it, it's just someone, particularly for a feminine, like it's very independent. So there could be a little bit of resistance to this person coming in. But they're your match is the thing, because you basically have a king of pentacles and a queen of pentacles. You know, so you're both like good at making money or you're both like very grounded. They might have more money than you is the thing, this person. But you might be, you know, queen of pentacles energy, <laughs> she's like very independent. So maybe there's a bit of resistance to that. Tell me about this uh, message of concern. Tell me about this message. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's going to ask you out. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. So Seven of Pentacles is something that takes a, a while to come in. And the Seven of Swords is, um, you know, like difficult karmic lessons. that you've overcome. So it's actually taken this person a while to come in, but I think it's because you had to heal from all this stuff in your past. 
yeah, four of pentacles because you're a little reluctant to, you know, open up. <laughs> and there's that ten of wands again. This is what you're releasing here, the stuff that you've been through in the past. Yeah, ten of swords. So you're releasing all that stuff so this person can come in. <laughs> okay, um, the Six of Swords. So coming out of an energy of, basically coming into calm waters, like more peaceful waters, like more balanced energy with that Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Tower. King of Pentacles. Um, so there could have been someone in the past, because that's my card for someone in the past. This King of Pentacles energy. There could have been someone in your past that you had a bit of a tower with, and I'm just messing about with the cards over here, and you have coffin. So there could have been an ending with someone in your past that kind of put you in this like hermit energy, right? Either like your your spiritual hermit phase, or just not really wanting to talk to people or whatever. And you have the, the 10 card here, journey. So you've, it's done with this person. It's basically what they're saying. Okay. Um, tell me about this two of cups then. King of wands, okay. Uh, I feel like he's been coming out a lot in the readings. Uh, so it could be a fire sign, but you know, it doesn't have to be because obviously you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles and you're not, an earth sign, right? So they could be, um, but they don't have to be, which would be uh, Aries Leo Sag. Aries Leo Sag. Um, so King of Wands is someone, and obviously, you know, if you deal with women, then just replace that with a chick, replace that with a Queen of Wands. But very, you know, leadership, energy, very attractive. Um, usually an excellent speaker. They often, they're in charge of stuff or they own their own business. <clears throat> Your person could have some Leo in the chart because I always think that with that card because there's a lion in the back. Oh, they're also an empath, this person. That's coming in. Is there any messages to close the reading for Cancer? Time off is coming. Hmm. You're gonna get some time off. Forgiving and moving on. So that's what you're doing at the moment. You may also have taken some time off, um, you know, like time away from other people to like release all this stuff, you know, to make space for all the good stuff that's coming in. And you have, it wasn't a mistake, it was a lesson and part of your plan. So. That's this person here, whoever this person was in your past. Like they're saying it wasn't a mistake. Like this person was there to teach you a lesson, you know? And now you're gonna find the love of your life. Look, it's a new person coming in. Releasing people pleasing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, your root chakra is balancing. So you might notice that you're becoming more stable or you're learning how to balance your root chakra. So you're becoming more calm. That's this Nine of Swords energy right here with the Six of Wands. The, the Nine of Swords is like overthinking, worrying, constantly being in your head. Balancing your root chakra will help with this. Um, just because that's what the root chakra does. Yeah, you're definitely, this past person here was a lesson in people pleasing because you've had to walk away from this person. And listen, that doesn't have to be romance. That could be anything, you know, uh, friends, boss, whatever. But there was someone that took advantage of you is actually what they're saying. Um, so you're just done. And you may have had to be by yourself for a while because you have the hermit here and she's by herself there. So you may have had to be by yourself for a while, but that's coming to an end. That, that time alone is over. Anything else for Cancer from this deck? Counselor. You could end up being a counselor of some kind because you have Mother Mary and you have that Three of Cups. 
This new person could also be a counsellor of some kind, by the way. Um, you might end up doing this through writing a book for some of you. You might have some... I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone, but... Um, you know, a Cancer is a great counsellor because you're so tapped into other people's energies. You know, empaths and people that are sensitive make great counsellors because you can put yourself in other people's shoes. You're very emp uh, empathic, you know, empathetic. Um, and also the thing is with an empath, you're able to feel people's emotions. So you, when, sometimes people are very upset and they don't really know what they need but you will be able to tell them that. You know, like, say you're a counsellor, that would be something that would make you an excellent counsellor. You know, or you could do it, like I said, you could do it one-to-one, -one. you could be counselling children, you could uh, work with women, some of you are going to work with women because Mother Mary is like the divine feminine kind of thing. Um, you could do it via like a podcast or a book, you know, You could do it online. They have online counselling services. Oh, some of you guys are going to be a tarot reader. So <laughs> that's for some of you, you're going to do that. A lot of changes will happen at once. Yeah, I think that's what you're going to find. Like a lot of stuff happens all at the same time. It's not like a warning, but it is kind of a warning because I think maybe for you, because you've been in this energy of like cleansing and you know maybe taking time off from the other humans or hanging out with people too much it's good it, it might feel like a lot when all this stuff kicks off you know i'm gonna get three from this pile as well oh you have leading how does that say leading a team or a large group stop feeling guilty for resting <laughs> Okay, oh, that's Queen of Pentacles energy, okay. So you tend to work too much, is what I'm gonna say there. Because Queen of Pentacles is, you know, they're very good at making money, they're very independent, self-sufficient. But it's also important with the Queen of Pentacles to take time out to look after yourself. So if that's something that's happening for you at the moment, just go with it because you're meant to do that. And you have healing the mother wound. Okay, so for some of you, that is connected to a mother. You know, maybe your mom always made you feel guilty for resting. Uh, or your gran, something like this, you know. So, Cancer, that's your reading. It's super long, <laughs> uh, like my wang. So sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I would appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.